Hi, I'm Emma Surtees and you're watching Fashion One TV. I'm here today with Jo Xiao, creative designer behind the latest collection, Fragmented Traveller. Hi Jo. Hi Emma. So what inspired you for this latest collection? Um, well, I went on a trip to Cambodia and um, I was just really inspired by this beautiful, ancient, mythological sort of landscape. And um, I was also really inspired by the colours there and um, what the monks were wearing, which is like a, a lot of drape, and it's just one piece of fabric draped around the body. And I really wanted to create a collection that sort of reminded me of that trip. And um, also, I wanted to do something that was very bohemian, um, like Virginia Woolf and Josephine Baker, and um, yeah, and I wanted something quite light and bohemian. And so, and so, how did you source the fabrics for your collection? Um, well, I started off with colours, and I started off thinking I wanted silks. So I went to a lot of silk um, fabric stores around Sydney, and then I looked overseas, and um, and then I decided I was doing print. So I was actually limited to what sort of fabrics the factory could produce um, at the printers, and um, yeah, and the rest. Um, yeah, I did a lot of sourcing, but it was pretty much around Sydney. Around Sydney. Yeah. So you sourced a lot of your fabrics from Sydney? Yeah. 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 And did you get a lot of your, were, your garments were made primarily in Sydney or did yeah. you go overseas to get your um, garments made? No, all of them, all of my garments were made in Sydney because there were only one-offs and samples. You know, people overseas wouldn't bother with doing stuff like that unless they wanted, you know, 10,000 orders. Mm, on a bigger scale. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I was really lucky. I had a family friend who could help me out who worked in the industry and she recommended um, a maker for me. But it is one of the toughest things for a student to find makers in Sydney to make difficult clothes for you. Yeah. And how did you find, how did you come up with the capital to fund your collection? Um, my parents. Um, yeah, it was very expensive. So I saved up um, for a bit. Um, and it wasn't enough, so yeah, my poor parents helped me out. Yeah, come will, to the rescue. I will pay them back. <laughs> <laughs> and so where do you see your future in the fashion design business? Um, well, I'd love to be a designer and, um, you know, I would really just love to learn about the industry and just get my foot in the door and um, work maybe as a junior sort of a design assistant and, um, and then in a few years, I'd like to start my own label. And and so, how hard would it be to get into a role, say, as a junior, a junior assistant to a designer? I mean, how hard are they to come across? Um, uh, like there are less jobs than there are graduates, so it is, you know, it is quite hard. But um, you know, I do believe like it is more of a luck thing as mm -hmm. well, like being at the right time, at the right place, and also doing lots of internships and you know, and it's also about attitudes, like a lot of designers probably wouldn't want to hire someone who don't want to do coffee runs. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, as a designer yourself, you probably wouldn't want to be stuck you know, doing all those yeah, odd jobs. You want to be there all, at the front of, the, yeah, front of it. Yeah, but we all start somewhere. Yeah. Low and go up. And work your way up. your time okay. today, Jo, and hopefully we'll be seeing your designs gracing our runways very shortly. Thank you, Emma. Until next time on Fashion One TV, I'm Emma Surtees.